Hello, yes. In this ongoing series, I'm exploring the accents of characters in the HBO show Game of Thrones. Having previously covered Westeros, I've begun to take a look at Essos. This week it's Karth's turn in the spotlight. Since there are so few characters actually from Karth, I'll be covering everyone who happens to live there at the point it appears in the show. The first character we meet from Karth is the pompous Spice King, giving Danny a hard time. He speaks in a very sure of himself RP accent. I imagine they went with this choice as there's just something wonderfully condescending about a posh upper class voice sneering at Danny and telling her she can't come in. I am not a liar. Oh, I don't think you are. But as I've never met you before, my opinion on the matter is of limited value. Where I come from, guests are treated with respect, not insulted at the gates. Then perhaps you should return to where you come from. We wish you well. The Silk King doesn't get many lines, just one that I've found so far. He speaks in an English accent with a touch of the actor's native Croatian. I believe this was a local casting decision as the filming location of Karth was Lokrum, an island in Croatia. They're my children, I'm begging you. Begging us? It wasn't very long ago you were threatening. Without me, the dragons will die! Pyat Pre, the warlock and kidnapper of dragons, is not someone you'd leave your kids with. He speaks in a creepy Edinburgh accent. I'm not sure as to why the showrunners decided to go with this, but it stands out enough to be unusual and adds a spooky quality to the character. On behalf of the warlocks of Karth, I welcome you. A demonstration. Should you grow tired of Saro's baubles and trinkets, it would be an honour to host you at the House of the Undying. Just a quick note to say that if you enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing as it helps get them out there to more viewers. Thanks. Zaro Zoan Daxos, the self-proclaimed richest man in Karth and notable liar in that regard, speaks in a very upper-class RP accent. The character was originally from the Summer Isles, and though we don't have an exact fix on their accent in the show, we can assume he started off sounding quite different, before adopting a similar accent to the rest of the Thirteen, in order to fit in more. A conqueror. And how did you get all of this? Did someone give it to you? No. I come from nothing. I hit the docks like a piece of cargo. Except someone normally cares what happens to cargo. So you wanted more than you had, and you took it. This character, named only as Carthine Woman, speaks in an English accent with a trace of Croatia. Again, this is likely due to the show's decision to cast local actors. <laughs> and you must visit the night market. The castle night market. It's like no night market you've ever seen. It sounds wonderful. Mm. Lastly, we have Quaith, the enigmatic woman who looks and sounds like she could be a Dark Souls NPC. Quaith speaks in an RP accent with traces of a Germanic accent on her R's. A possible reason for this is that it adds to her mystique and otherworldliness. She needs true protectors, now more than ever. And when they see, they shall lust. For dragons are fire made flesh. Thank you for watching. Next time? Well, who knows, I'll throw a dart at a map of Essos and do my best. Bye then.